Just come at it like you're riding along to it and then curve into it. There you go. You got it. You got it. Nice. That was awesome. Mason just went for it. I was like mid instruction telling him what to do. And he's like, I've heard enough. I got this. All right, so we got kind of like a maintenance day going on today. If you remember from the last vlog, we had an issue with Luke's axle nut came off along with the little block. There's supposed to be like an adjuster block right there. We ordered that part. That part hasn't come in yet. What we have gotten, I got a new shifter for Luke as well as a brake and clutch lever. So one of the things that I noticed about this bike is Luke was having a hard time pulling the clutch in and I don't think this is the right clutch. If you're trying to pull the clutch in, you're way out here if you're where your fingers are supposed to be. So we got a new clutch lever that I think will hopefully fit better. As well as these guys that we got the bike from, they kind of did a hodgepodge job. They had this little clamp tr holding the brake housing together. And I didn't know why until I pulled this apart. There's a, there's a screw that's stuck in in there and in order to replace this you have to replace the whole brake master cylinder here which is like 200 bucks the dealer wanted 200 bucks which i thought was a little high i found this one on ebay which was substantially cheaper and it should work but the brake is way too big so that's why we have another brake lever right here oh that's the clutch lever right there but what i'm really excited about is we got some Mika metal bars. Can we put them on now? Which look really sick. No, we're not gonna put the bars on. Okay, so the other thing is I noticed that the fork seals are leaking. I've never redone fork seals on a bike before from what I hear. It's kind of technical. There's a lot of moving parts inside of the fork, so you have to pull them all, all apart, which I'm nervous about. I don't really want to have to stress about getting everything out and putting it back in the right order. So I called the dealership. They wanted $400 to, uh, to switch out the fork seals. So then I was like, you know what? I think I can do it. I think I can. I think I can do it actually, now that I think about it. So while we have the bars taken apart and everything off the bike, I figure we might as well do the fork seals as well. So we gotta run to the dealership and get some fork seals. Then we can get started uh, getting everything back together and hopefully ready to ride this weekend. You guys see that snowmobile right there? That snowmobile has been there for like 20 years. I moved here in 1999 for the first time and that snowmobile was sitting there for sale. Nobody's bought it. It's been sitting there for 20 years. Should we go buy it? Yeah. I wonder if they'd give us a good deal on it. Seriously, we should go like, I like we want to buy it sometime. So anyway, so uh, we had our first race. Luke's second race, Mason's first race we had last week. The coolest thing about that was probably all the cool people that we met, right? Wasn't that awesome? Yeah, we met Tristan, we met, we met Grant, we, we met, met Carson, Carson, we met a bunch of other guys. Yeah. Can't remember, can't remember them all. But it's super cool because as far as all the riders there, we're probably the least experienced. We're the biggest noobs. We've got older bikes. Our kids are, you know, not the fastest. And there's other kids there that have super nice bikes. They've got, they're taking multiple bikes to the track. Nice trucks, trailers, nice tent setups and everything. Yeah, and yet all these, yeah, we've got the white trash El Camino. And yet like all these kids were interested in us. Yeah. Like when they're way better and older and got nicer stuff than us, it was just like, mind-blowing to me that so many kids were interested in us and they came up and they're like it was just like oh yeah I saw one of your videos once it's like yeah I watched your videos they're really good and that was that was really cool of them to say that and for them to be interested in like these nobodies that aren't very good at their bikes yet you know that was cool so thank you very much guys thank you to everyone we met hopefully we get to meet a lot more of you guys and it's cool because we're friends now like we're friends with a lot of these kids like Tristan and and Grant and uh, Carson, yeah, we're like friends with them now. So we're like this. Uh, we're heading over to the bike shop, but Lillian's gym is right by the bike shop. So I think we should step in and uh, say hi to her real quick. Is that all right, guys? Is that okay with you, Mason? Should we go say hi, hi to Lillian? Sure. Okay.
need a hand, Mason? Hold on a second, that building's gone. Bent lever, which I guess they're not really a dealer, but they're just some cool guys that sell a lot of dirt bike stuff and uh, sell some toys. We got Mason bike, we got Luca bike. Ken Roxon. We got some brake fluid. We ordered some fork seals. And I guess they said that they do it there. They will change fork seals there for a hundred bucks, which I think might be worth it. I was gonna try to do it myself, but that was because the dealer wanted like three or 400 bucks. They'll do it for a hundred. I think that might be worth it. I might have changed my mind. I might just pay them to do it. For right now, we have one thing left to do. We went by the bike shop, we got footage of Lillian, and now we gotta go to the bike park. Yep. We gotta send it. Let's send it! Mason, drop it in for the first time. Just come at it like you're riding along to it and then curve into it. There you go, you got it, you got it. Nice! That was awesome. Mason just went for it. I was like mid-instruction telling him what to do. And he's like, I've heard enough, I got this. First time ever dropping in. Good job, buddy. Mason, this is your first time dropping in, dude. Sweet. Nice. Nice. Check it out guys, we're down here at the Battleground Skate Park. It's not as good as Vancouver. I think the kids can definitely get higher on the bull in Vancouver, but what's cool about it is you could get really close. Look at this shot. I can get like right up in there. Twelve o'clock midnight. Okay, let's see it buddy. Um, all right, so we're back at home. We're doing a little BMX sesh and we're trying to work on fakies. Really late at night. Not really late, but. Oh, uh, uh, uh. what's the goal, Luke? So we're gonna try to get front wheel or back wheel to the disc? Um, I'd say about my back wheel past the disc. Your back wheel past the disc? Yep, that's the goal. Okay, hold on. So on the disc or past the disc? Past. So back wheel past the disc. Why not front wheel to the disc? Let me see if I can do this. Front wheel to the disc. Did I make it? Let me check and see. All right, I just checked the replay and I made it. It wasn't pretty, it was a little sloppy, but I made it, so I, it counts. Okay, so Luke, let's see you do it, bud. Okay. Let's see your best fakie. Ooh, good job. Okay, last one, Luke. Oh, you were diehard. You are hanging on to that to the very end. Me. Come stand up here at the top of the ramp. <laughs> All right, don't fall, don't fall. This is very important, I want you to video me. This is the most important thing you've ever done in your life, okay? I want you to video me, and I want you to, I want you to. No, don't, no Mason. Can I trust you or do I need to hire somebody? Gosh, I'm gonna be a ladder. Listen to me, this is very important. Yeah. Stand up here, this is the reason why I had kids, so that you could do things for me, okay? Look at me, 
your job. I need you to capture the look of determination in my eye, like the eye of the tiger, you know, like, uh, like I got this, like I'm, nothing's gonna stop me from g faking all the way to the disc, okay? That's what I need. Do you got it? Nuh-uh, nuh-uh. Wingle, wingle, wingle. Okay, Mason, I'm gonna fake you all the way to the disc. Are you ready? Yeah. You have one job to do. <laughs> You're retarded. Dad just hit that skateboard. Okay, are you ready, Mason? Yeah. Pay attention. I believe in you. You got this. You can do it. I videoed y'all. Video. What's going on, guys? And this is vlog epicness. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Did you get it, Mason? I think so. Are okay, you ready? Now. It is free! It's free! Good job, Mason.